being someone who loves to explore nature and see what the mother of our earth has given us, I headed to El Salvador to see if we could hike and hike on some amazing volcanoes. The Volcan Santa Ana in the entire region of Santa Ana near the coffee region is a must if you're in El Salvador. But the question was, would you be able to do it during rainy season when I was visiting? I was there during the month of May and I wasn't sure. Stay tuned as I show you how to get there, how exactly to do the hike, and if it is gonna be worth it for you to do it during rainy season. For Marco Polo Travel, I'm Paul. Let's get it going. Currently coming to you at 7.30 in the morning from Santa Ana, El Salvador. Getting ready to catch a bus to go to the Parque Nacional de los Volcanes, also used to be known as Cerro Verde. In El Salvador, they have tons of volcanoes. It is known as one of the land of the volcanoes. I'm ready to go explore this beautiful one that has a green lake inside of it. The green lake is supposedly very hot with some kind of molten magma coming from below. Can you say, Yakuzi? Silvio. What is that? It's hot. It's super hot. The homie Silvio, right here from yeah. Switzerland, say hello. Hello there. We have just made it. We have spent approximately two hours on the bus from Santa Ana. Luckily, the infrastructure here and the roads are pretty nice, unlike Guatemala, pretty shaky. Mm. Absolutely. Mm, absolutely. Also, we've now turned into the mountains. We're almost on top of a volcano at the Cerro Verde, also known as Parque Nacional de los Volcanes, and the weather has gotten pristine, beautiful, cool. I'm no longer sweating. I'm in heaven. Me too. Now it's 9.45. Like I said, it took two hours to get up here, local bus. The tour, because you have to do a guided tour here, does not start until 10.30. So now, you're wasting time. You can do a private tour if you would like. It is a bit more costly. You book it in the town of Santa Ana rather than just coming here on the chicken bus. Being Central America, we now have a torrential downpour that's coming on. Silvio, weatherman, tell them about it. It's super wet. It's super wet. 100% chance of rain, cloudy, and some meatballs. Right after I made that last video, a policeman came over and he said, it is unsafe to hike up the volcano due to the rain. Go! Boys and girls, Silvio is upset. And so am I. We will not be hiking the volcano today, but there's a lesson to be learned. Check the weather beforehand. Make sure, even if you are in Central America, where these tropical rainstorms can be quite frequent, you need to try and plan it out a little bit better. We did not. Epic fail. So, as you can see, it is not very possible to hike the volcano during rainy season. What have you done instead? Get a hot dog. Get a hot dog. But, Santa Ana, be in the area, go check it out, get yourself a nice little hot dog. Why don't you come up here and waste two hours of your day? Cheers. Cheers. And to be honest, even if you were gonna check the weather, it's so sporadic and changes from time to time. It always says thunderstorms every day. You can't tell. So the best thing to do is just send it and go for it. Ain't that right, Silvio? Yeah. And unfortunately, if you're like us, not be able to hike today. So, as you can see, I got a bit unlucky. Unfortunately, during rainy season, it is very difficult to try and time it, so you just have to get lucky. I would still think that, although I got rained out trying to hike the volcano, you can still try and play your cards right, go there, see if you can do it, because supposedly it is one of the greatest things you can do in all of El Salvador. But just know, during rainy season, torrential downpours are common. So be wary and kind of go with the glass half full attitude. You know, if you can do it, awesome. If you can't, it is what it is. Have you ever hiked this volcano? If so, please leave a comment below. And obviously, if you're enjoying this video, please give me a subscribe, it really helps. For Paul from Marco Polo Travel, hasta luego.